We're covering Colorado first with your forecast. Here's a live look from our library cam. It was a windy day across much of the state. That made for some dangerous driving conditions in some areas. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera tracking those winds. Dave, yeah. everybody wants to know, will they blow for the rest of the weekend? They will, but not as strong. Uh, not strong enough to close uh, a lot of the roads like happened today. 93 closed down because of the blowing snow. We might have some areas of that tomorrow, but the winds will not be as strong. In fact, they're dying down right now. We still have some gusts out there. 38 West Minster, 29 in Evergreen, 14 in Golden, but out here in Jefferson County, some of the winds today were up around 50 to 60 miles per hour, so that's a huge improvement over where we were this afternoon. Uh, winds helped to warm us up a little bit around here. We were 36 in Denver today, above freezing again around here, 37 in Greeley, 36 in Fort Collins and Boulder as well. So we're slowly digging out of this cold wave we've been in uh, for the last several days. Satellite and radar shows a real nice clearing out across the eastern plains with that sunshine. But look at this. Already we're starting to see more in the way of moisture flow right into the west again, and that'll be moisture for snow overnight tonight into tomorrow. In fact, on the bigger picture, a major weather change happened in the last 24 hours. That big low that had been over the western side of the nation is now tracking into the nation's midsection here in the Midwest, and what it is doing is opening up the flow in the northwest. There's some moisture up here, and that's what's going to slide in and give us some snow in the mountains. At the same time, everything that has been kind of locked over the country is moving. Kathy showed you some pictures of the flooding that happened out here in the Midwest earlier. Uh, today and yesterday. Look at this big line of thunderstorms coming through. For the last four days, this system has just been from Dallas across Arkansas into St. Louis. Some of these areas in Arkansas in the last four days have had up to four to eight inches of rain. And all of these reports are in the last 24 hours of either flooding or wind damage or tornadoes as well. In uh, the northern part of Arkansas, we had some homes destroyed by tornadoes there. And if you look at every one of these, it's either water covering the road, water blocking the road, flooding reported throughout uh, the area, trees and power lines knocked down, and uh, roads impassable because of flooding. When you get that much water, it just locks everything down. But finally, everything's moving on. That big high out over the eastern plains is, or eastern seaboard, I should say, starting to move out, and that'll open the door for everything to start flowing through. So that's good news for us, good news for them as well. So more snow tonight in the mountains. I think some of these spots may see about three to six inches of snow here, and in some isolated areas, there may be even more than that, just spotty areas of about six to eight inches in the more snow-prone areas, the west-facing slopes. And then by tomorrow, it really starts to die down to just flurries here and there. By afternoon, though, look at the clearing going on. We're going to have a sunny day here across the eastern plains. Lows tonight, of course, in the mountains, very cold there, below zero in some locations, like in Leadville at two below. And we'll have single digits and teens here in the east. But look at this, more 40s popping up here in the east. We'll be in the 20s and teens in the mountains and 30s and 40s out west tomorrow. So my forecast tonight, about 15 for the low at the airport will be partly cloudy, breezy from time to time. Tomorrow, breezy in the city, windy on the west side, but again, not as strong as what we had today. And we should make it to 40 tomorrow. We should have a 40 party. How about that? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. 50s return Monday and Tuesday, and then another little shot of snow comes in on Wednesday with a high of 42. Monday, look at Monday, mm -hmm. 52 degrees. I never thought I'd say, come on, Monday. Yeah, it's, it looks really good. Let's make it to Monday. All right, Dave, mm -hmm. thanks. You got it. Well, the, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science has a new